webinars. You've probably heard of them before, but maybe you're not really sure how you should use them or if you should use them or what they're even for. And are they easy or are they hard? Well, I'm gonna answer all those questions and I'm also gonna show you just how easy it really is to create a webinar. So what is a webinar? Let me keep it simple for you. It's a web-based seminar. In fact, that's where the name comes from, webinar. Huh. Now, this interactive online version of presenting and lecturing and learning has been around since the late 90s. Not going anywhere because people are actually becoming even more accustomed to learning online. And as technology becomes more accessible, these webinars are actually growing in popularity. Another huge benefit to conducting webinars is, quite frankly, the cost. You don't have to fly people all over the place. You don't have to book a room or a conference room. You can literally just sit in front of a computer. They can watch from their phone, their tablet, or their computer at home or wherever is convenient for them. And lastly, they're really easy. In fact, they're getting even easier with today's technology. A little bit later, I'll show you just how easy it is to set up a webinar. Webinars are typically held to educate, inform, or train participants on specific topics. They can be used for a range of purposes, including business presentations, product demonstrations, employee training, academic lectures, marketing events, and of course, a ton more. Now, live streams and webinars are super similar. In fact, they can be almost identical. However, the big difference is that live streams are typically an open broadcast on social media where webinars are a little bit more laser focused, targeted to a group of individuals, and also gated by a registration, a login, or even a paid virtual ticket. Now, another difference is that live streams can also just be for fun or for a hobby or whatever hoot nanny you want to broadcast about. And the webinars are typically a little bit more objective based a little bit more professional, a little bit more business oriented. But you can still have a hoot nanny in your webinar. I'm just saying, that's up to you. Now, picking the right webinar platform can be a little bit daunting because there's a lot of them out there. So make sure that you find one that has the features that you're looking for, but be careful because a lot of them have a lot of bells and whistles. In fact, they can be pretty complicated. We suggest, especially if you're just getting started, to adopt our three pillars, which is make sure it's easy to use, it's stable, and it's gonna make you look professional, which by the way, StreamYard has a webinar platform called StreamYard On Air, and it uses all the same studio features that our live video broadcasting software uses as well. So if you're already a StreamYard user, you're a great fit for StreamYard on air because you're literally just a few clicks away from creating your first professional awesome webinar. But even if you're brand new to webinars or if you've been doing webinars for quite some time, StreamYard will allow you to bring on guests, seamlessly present your slides, and even create custom overlays in your webinars which are gonna make you look awesome and professional. Let me show you a few of the basics of how it works. Here we are inside of the StreamYard studio. We're simply gonna go to create, and we're gonna to go to on air webinar. If you're on the right plan, you will notice this as an option. So when we select that, we're gonna see select source. Now I'm gonna keep the studio because I'm gonna go live, but if you actually wanna do a pre recorded webinar and upload it, you would select pre recorded video. Next, you're gonna select your destination about where you're gonna be streaming this. On air will always be there, but you can also multi stream it to your social media platforms by simply connecting those destinations and adding them here. Next, you're gonna to wanna to create an awesome title and a great description for your webinar. Next, you're gonna select whether or not you wanna require that people register for your webinar. This is where you're gonna collect names and emails, which you can export later and use in your email marketing platform. I highly recommend this. Next, you're gonna be able to upload a custom thumbnail for the preview. Next, you're gonna select the day and time that you want this webinar to be scheduled for, and then you're gonna select Create. Congratulations, your webinar is now scheduled, but the work is not done. Next, you're gonna to wanna to go to the on-air branding and settings. This is actually where you can enable or disable live chat, which is the ability for your viewers to comment while you're live in this webinar. And you can also enable or disable available on demand, which is whether or not you want this webinar to be available after it is done and you want people to watch it later. You can also create a custom color and logo for your registration page, your emails, and your watch page as well. Once you're done and you've got all that picked, save your changes. Now, that same information can be reaccessed once again by clicking on the three dots inside of your broadcast list. As you'll notice, you'll see those on-air branding and settings right here. Now, once registrations start coming in, you can manage those registrants with this option. You can also edit all the stuff we just talked about, including your description, your thumbnail, if you change your mind later. Now, another key important thing in this menu is the invite guest button. If you're gonna have other people in this webinar with you, you're gonna wanna select this and send your guests this link ahead of time so that they can join your webinar with you. 
Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail about all of those things and all those bells and whistles and how they work because we've got some other awesome videos that you can check out that go into even more detail about how to use StreamYard on air. Just about everything else from here on out works just like the live streaming studio. You are going to add your camera, your microphone, type in your name, enter the studio. You will be backstage, add yourself to the stream to simply be on stage, customize your banners, of course, add overlays and videos, which I highly recommend you do. It's definitely gonna make your webinar that much better. And just like that, you're ready to hit that blue button, go live to start your amazing webinar. And if you wanna learn how to take your webinars to the next level, be sure to check out the videos we've got on screen or the ones we've got linked down below.